So here we are in my basement again. Of course, a lot has changed since uh, those hamsters, but <laughs> you see here, this is my brand new green screen. Cost, I think, 120 bucks on Amazon.com. So, yeah, you can see all kinds of, uh, there's a lot of wrinkles in it. We're gonna get some clips to take care of that, so it's not so, uh, shadowy and it's an effect, but, yeah, see that? Got my own green screen. Barely fits the ceiling, because it's very tall. And it could be outstretched longer. And there's a little bit of a pole right there. Yeah. And it goes down, kind of hangs across like that. You could put another pole right next to it, so it can go longer. This could be, this doesn't have to be on the floor. This could be across the wall, too. So it can be, it can be bigger than this. For right now, this is what we decided to put it on. And here, these are the huge umbrella lights that I came with. This is, goes on like this. Basically, you kind of angle it towards the, towards the middle. And this, this one right here, turn that on, and you're getting a you're getting a decent sized light here. So there isn't as much there isn't as much shadow effect. And these can go up. These can go up a little bit. You like unhook these? They can you can make like uh, they can get a little bit taller. They can be like up here. But we keep them, we keep them at the low level, just because, well, simply we don't want them to fall over and, and break, because these things are, yeah, pretty hard to replace. <laughs> Luckily, these lights should last for a long time. No batteries, just plug them in. That's what I wanted to show you. The other thing I want to show you is how I expanded my gerbil cage. So this was the uh, this was the cage they started with, and I know you probably can see how they probably need some uh, new bedding, some clean bedding. But um, this is actually this actually isn't bedding. This is actually uh, this is actually toilet paper. So I just put some rolls in there, and it keeps them occupied, the enrichment. So they're the same wheel, which over time has uh, that was their net I used to catch them when they're. They came out of their cage. Uh, you can see that they've kind of chewed up a little bit, so I got another another um, another solid spinner wheel, just in case they end up destroying it completely. Kind of put a this bottle actually doesn't work too bad, so usually I'd have to go every night and just give them water because it wouldn't work too well. But now this seems this seems pretty good for now, as long as they don't hop out of here. They're actually pretty well behaved. They don't actually get out as much as my old Oscar did, but like they don't have hopped out. But here, like you can see, like okay, and hold on a minute. Okay, so you like see, this is a. Uh, I've had this particular two for a very long time, and as you can see, which actually you know, to be honest, I just noticed it right now. They chewed off that part, so. Well, that means I'm gonna have to get another one, I guess. But um, to be to be honest, actually, I I just noticed that right now. That was that that was on there like a day ago, but now they chewed it off, so now it's a little less level to the ground. But uh, they have this. They go up here, and these little these little pipes I got from a, this this um store called Menards. I think they were like uh, things you put in like. I don't know, some kind of sink sink system or something. I kind of duct tape the uh, the critter trail tube to this thing, and they have this tube, and they go down this way, and then they're in here. So now in this cage, they have a um. As you can see, there's a lot of bedding in there. So this is technically their, where they burrow the cage. They had a little bit more in there, but since they chewed up all the bedding, it, it looks like there's a little less, but it used to go like up to like maybe here. 
when I first put the, uh, the last time I cleaned it and refilled it. But, um, so now let's say that's going through this hole. And now, so after this burrowing cage, they go here, through this tube. And as you can see, there's a little kind of a little bit, and this is the way the intersection is. Now, the reason why I have this hole is because Mal and Oscar, my previous gerbils, they chewed a hole through this lid when they had their bin. So, I was able to do that to my advantage. And as they even chewed it even, these gerbils even chewed it even farther, I was able to put two, two tubes in here. As you see, I tried to try to block the barrier here. So you don't... They don't get out. <laughs> As you can see, Panther's kind of trying to ease his way out. <laughs> Usually it's Peanut that gets out, so I have to keep sliding this across and just getting a bit more sticks to kind of block this little this little incision here. But anyway, now they go through this tube. There's actually two tubes here. They go up here and. Yes, I did check to see that they can climb the steep. I mean, there is no, like, there's no velvet on this thing, so it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of climbing up a, uh, it's basically equivalent to you climbing up a, a slide, like a, you know what I mean by an inside tube slide, without wear, with wearing socks, not just your feet, but, but like, uh, it's like you're trying to climb up a slide with only, with, ha with having to wear your socks on. So it's very slippery. But I tried to make this as angled as this is be this is best I can do for right now. So they're able to climb this up fairly well. They put some jump into it. And yes, they can fit for the tubes absolutely fine. And uh so they climb through here. And this kind of little this little part that's a little less turned than the other than the other corners. Kind of intersects here. Then it goes down here. And into a third bin. And here there's just some extra whatever peanuts chewing on. That's probably what it is. Um to make to, to make it so this isn't so steep, or like they can be able to climb up this better. I did put I did before put some of um I don't know where it is now, but it was uh <laughs> Oh yeah. Right here. Like this kind of um this kind of like the yarn thing. I kind of put three strands of this thing in there, so kind of like this. I don't remember what I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's sort of like a sort of like a little bit of fabric yarn. I kind of put like maybe three strands of it in the tube, so that they could grip on something, so they can climb up it. But they really never actually actually use that to their advantage. They they would just chew on it. So whatever peanut was just chewing on a second ago. That's probably what it was. So this bedding is a little sticky because I kind of there might be a little bit of a scotch tape left in the a little bit of bedding, but they chewed it before. It's not a big deal. The scotch tape. It's they just chewed up the the duct tape before too. I'd rather they didn't, but nothing. They never choked on anything, so uh. <laughs> so oh, is it gonna go up there for us? Okay, see here, I kind of put some weight here. Uh, Monopoly, unless my cat came downstairs. Uh, this. Uh, I put that on the floor. Okay, just so it has not out of way, because, I mean, I put this thing, like, just like that, so they try to climb up the slippery thing, which really is nearly impossible, because they won't be able to grip themselves easily. But in case they did, it would slide back down. But, uh... I told you I was going to expand the cage, I really meant it. See here, and during, during when Christmas comes, I probably ask for more stuff. So you see, this this is a little bit, like, clumped a little bit. It's a little, uh, some loose food in here. Not the cleanest bedding, but nothing harmful. They'd rather chew on the, uh, the, their barrier than chew on these sticks now. They used to chew them all the time. But... You see, it looks like one of them just uh, came back down. You see his tail. Uh, I 
I think that, well, I mean, well, what I was trying to do before was try to take two bins and try to put them on top of each other, but I just, I haven't figured out how I'm supposed to put a hole for the bottom, so if I could just figure that out eventually, I could probably do that somehow so you could have any more burrowing space than the middle cage, but for right now, they seem pretty content. I mean, it's good enrichment for them to go through these dark tubes. I mean, I'm jealous. I mean, going through a really, really dark tube that's pitch black inside. I mean, obviously not too long, so you don't get the pride of oxygen, but there's no holes in these. But, <laughs> but like, yeah, they have so much fun going through there. Like, it'd be so much fun to go through a, how to climb up. Like, it's like a, it's like going through one of those blown up also courses for them, but only the journals get to do it. So that's, that should be fun for them. This one that's always getting out. Peanut always gets out. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, I think it just... And I think it just urinated on me. Oh. Gerbils don't urinate, for crying out loud. You do like a tiny droplet a day, and they just wait for me to hold them, and then they urinate. <clears throat> but... Anyway, um, sometimes they sleep here, and sometimes they sleep in the middle cage. They never sleep in the in the paper. <clears throat> I put paper in there so they have a an alternate type of bedding besides the aspen, and that uh, it's not better for burrowing. So, because it'll you know it doesn't collect any urine, so it gets dirty easily. But I kept, didn't want to put it too high, so I could I have to climb out, jump, try to jump up through there. They have the ability to do that, but they're more, they're better behaved than Milan Oscar, so they actually uh, aren't as bad at that. I kind of put that uh, that game there just to keep this bin from going up. And don't worry for sure, they definitely as you can see with all these holes and stuff, they got plenty of oxygen in there. Just that's never a problem. And the holes are only getting bigger, so they have plenty of oxygen in there. I mean, it doesn't like they have a lot, but believe me, they do. All three they can be at the same time, and there's no, there's absolutely no issue. So, they're not see-through. I mean, you better know exactly what they were doing in there, but, I mean, they, sometimes I use the tubes as their toilet, so I have to clean out the tubes, but. <laughs> it's hard to see, but. It's very dark in there. There's absolutely no light in there, so they can call through dark, dark tunnels, just like they would in the like dark underground tunnels, like in the wild. So they, they that's pretty good enrichment for them. And uh, these pipe means are actually, well, as as has already been case pointed, the uh, <laughs> the super critter trails, gerbils can fit. Most gerbils can fit through them, but that's not the really issue. The issue is they'll chew on the plastic, and that's. Uh, it is kind of a safety hazard, but it's also that, you know, the two don't last very long, so these Menards are much better. So, I mean, they're they're basically chew-proof, so they can chew on them, but these things can last a very long time, I can tell. So the only time I buy new tubes is for new purposes, not for replace purposes. I gotta see the cat's reaction to the dog. <laughs> she ran off. Ripley's probably more afraid of her than she is of him. <laughs> Why does he like jump in his jaws like that? I think because he's scared. <laughs> <laughs>